Hello. This is Lorenda here at Love What I Do Studio. And it's going to be a long video. I don't know how long. But you'll see in the uh, thing. I'm sure how the, it'll say how long it's going to be. So prepare yourself because I'm going to show you how to do some paint pouring economically. Because when I started, that was my thing. I loved paint pouring. I loved... Um, just, I was watching people and I would like, <gasps> like it literally took my breath away. And that was my first kind of thing that I loved to do. And I sat it off at the dollar store and artists say, don't go to the dollar store, but that's how I started. And not everything is good there, but if you're just starting out and you just want to mess around, then that's the way to go. And I still use, um, I use Floetrol to for, to mix with the paint. And that's my favorite. But I'm going to show you that you can use, um, you know, just glue and water makes me a medium to pour in. Am I saying that right? It makes they call it a medium, right? To um, mix in and thin the paint out. Um, and then I use silicone for cells. So let me show you how I'm going to turn this around so I can show you what I have ready for us. All right, it's Halloween, so I got to do something fun, and I'm gonna paint pour that, and I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna put that one on the spinner. This one won't fit. I'm also gonna show you. This is my spinning container, so it won't make a mess. I have my spinner in there, and I wish that would fit on there because I love to spin that. This is a mistake. If you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you how you can fix a mistake. Um, it, it cracked. I wanted it to look like candy corn. I mean, it just came out terrible. Um, so I'm gonna go over it with some browns because I wanna fix like the edges and get, um, and I think it would be good for holidays, like nice browns and a black to make cells. So that's um, at the end of the list. And so this is my little studio here. So I take pictures of my coasters and little things that I make. I ordered that on Timu, which is pretty freaking cool. I like it. Uh, I like that. I have to uh, follow focus. I'm going to paint for that, too. And those are the colors that I'm going to use for that one. I did a little wood burning. I'm not done with it yet. I have to figure out how to do some waves with those um, tips, new tips that I have. This is work that I have to do that. I got some painted rocks. I got ladybugs I have to paint. This right here, I took this picture, and I want to paint it. I want to do a tutorial because people said they want me to teach them how to do an oil painting. I love all art. This is an art channel. I do all kinds of art. I can't pick which medium, so these are the colors I'm going to use for this. I wish I had some silver, but... It just seems nice for a ghost to be, you know, gray and white. We'll keep it simple. See the cells that come about here with my silicone. Now I'm going to use, I get this at Michael's. Oh, I get this at Michael's. Um, and I'm going to use this little cheap glue. I, oh, what did I get? A job lot? Jot? I don't know. But I'm going to mix some of that with water. And uh, here's all my little cups. So I'm going to show you what to do. I got everything all ready. Um, this is for the shed, the uh, mural that I did. And we're making it kind of 3D and putting some cool stuff on, on the shed, the mural I painted. I was going to paint it with that first, but I'm not. I'm going to make sure that the drips go down the side, which I think is very cool. So much time to see my sweatshirts. So I painted that. And I gotta fix it because the hearts are cut out. So I had to redo it. Do first is a skeleton because I'm dying to spin. I love spinning. So what I'm gonna do is just pop that there. And this is what I got going on here. I open this up. And there we go. We got a spinner in there. See all the paint? It just stays in here. So this is a good um, thing. This is what I did. Um, you can use like a box and then throw the box away. I'll put tape on here to make sure it stays down. And I'm going to get my little cups. 
Okay, so I got some water here. I got sticks, so we're gonna just take a little bit. Um, so people are like, don't share your tips and tricks, or they're gonna steal all your ideas. And I'm like, you know, people reached out to me and said, hey, I've been doing this for years. Let me give you a little tip. Uh, this is how you, you know, this is what you mix. This is how you mix it. This is what you use. So why wouldn't I help out and do the same? All right, this is too thin, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I like to tell by the... Yeah, that's okay. So it's like half and half. I think I'm going to um, put a little more in there because I did a little too much water. So this is just an inexpensive glue. There's, uh, I've tried clear glue. They say that's better for cells. Um... So this is a good consistency right here. You know, we just want to thin out the paint. So glue and water is what they are. Uh, glue and water. So now this, I want black, red, and gold. And this is already a little, not much in here, so I'm just going to pour it right in the bottle. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I can kind of tell my areas a little bit. Just a little, because I only need a little. Now I'm going to do a certain... I'm going to do a... Um, let me see. What do you call it? I'm going to... It's not a quick cup. I forget what they call a quick cup. It's not a quick cup, but... I'm going to pour the colors into the cup and then pour it on here. I need tape to hide that. Tape, I need tape. For the little hanging thing. Now I got these from the dollar store. And they're cute. I mean, they have cute stuff in there. I heard they're not even going to be a dollar store anymore. They're going to be a dollar store without being a dollar store. They have all different prices, which is dumb. Now we have no dollar store. So, yeah, I heard that the other day. Get yourself a drink now. This is just one of those flavors that you put in the water. All right, so I did a little bit there. Now I want you to see the consistency. So I'm gonna do the black. I would do black. And I'm not gonna, well, I might, I'm gonna do a little bit more than I need because I'm gonna use it for the other one too. So here I go, I'm pouring. <clears throat> and see how thick that is, it moves rather slowly. We still want it to move slowly, but just not that slow. So here we go. I'm just going to do a little bit. A little bit. I don't measure nothing. I go by consistency and how it, the flow looks. I can tell it needs a little more. I can feel it. I can feel the thickness. Um, and then the stirrer, how it pours off the stirrer. See, that's good. That's good right there. That's good. So just a little bit, you know, just to thin it out a little bit so it's not so thick. So it has a nice flow to it. So there's the black. Now we need the gold. And I'm going to pour, pour that in here too, I think, because I need to use all of what's in there. That's not much enough. So I'm just doing a little bit. So then... I should do some white too. You know what? I have white house paint with silicone in it. And I think I'm gonna use a little bit of that too. That'll be my cell the cell activator. It's a little house paint with some silicone in it <clears throat> and Floatron that I have in here that I'm gonna use for the white. Black, red, and white are my favorite colors, and I'm gonna throw a metallic in there, and oh my god, I'm all excited. I love metallics and Shimmery, glittery, fun stuff. Fun. It's so much fun. Okay, so we got that. Now what we're going to do here is... I bet you this is not going to be enough. Maybe. All right, ready? Watch. Let's put that down. Can you see good? I hope so. I'm just hoping I don't swear so I don't have to edit too much. It takes a long time to edit, so... A little, that's kind of thin, but 
Oh, that's okay. All of that. Oh, I see. I like it. Make good sounds. All of that. All that. I don't even know what they call this. Does anybody care? Do we need to know the name or can we just do it? Not much of the red. I have more red if I need it. White. So I just pour it on the side so it goes in slow. Black. Oh, that's why I have these nice, uh, they're like kind of like big old puppy pads or pee pee pads and I they're great for um, artwork. I think I need more red. I'm going to have to make some more red. I do. I need it. So here's a little bit of red here. I think. This one's a brighter red too. I like that better actually. Pour a little bit in here. Yeah. So that's good. Whip it up quick. I am quick, you guys. I am quick. Ready? Oh, I like that red so much better. That's going to make it pop. The pretty red. No, any more. Where is it? More. I need more. I'll just dump it all in there. Now they, I don't know, I heard them call this a pillow paint. When you use house paint, which is pretty thick, it's called a pillow paint, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if I'm right with the lingo. I'll have to be honest, I don't stick with a lot of things. I just try stuff, and then, I mean, I always go back to the paint pouring. I love paint pouring. I always... Even though it's messy on my hands and nails, which I better get some gloves on. I, Julia, I the gloves. I need gloves. I'll be back. Okay, here we are. So here's the guy. Here's the little guy. Don't worry, we're going to get paint on this, and that's okay. I'm just taping it down to so I can, I can spin it. We're going to see how it comes out spun. So here we go. This is what I do. And now I'm going to pour this. All over here. I think it needs more white. Darn it. Let's put some more white in there. It's just not even enough white. That's for sure. I spin this, it should spread out all over the place. Put some white in here. White in here. There we go. I see cell activation already, which is cool. Ready? I'm going to spin it. I needed something for the holidays. Whoops. Something to do. Not very artsy grassy. You see, is it coming out? I need a little paint. Watch out for hair. I should have my hair back. There's a hair on there. I see it. But it's giving me little spots here. So Halloween is not my favorite holiday, 
Fourth of July. Yeah. Okay. Some new spots here that need attention. New spots. Little little spots in here. All right, here we go. Okay, let's try this again. Whoops, it's okay. You get excited. My spinner too high. I saw that they don't even go very high. They go nice and slow, especially on the big ones. Ooh, is it like a cool X right in the middle? That looks better than that. I don't want to get it in my hand. Alright, can you see the gold in there? Interesting. I can't see the gold very much. I think it needs a little red in here. Just a little bit of red in the middle. There's a little more red in the hat, too. The look I want. I spun out my cool now. That's not bad. Ooh, one more time. I have to blow it in the middle a little bit. So let's see how this looks. All this stuff over here. So I can put this over here. Ooh, I want to put it on something. So there we go. How cool is that? Do I see any cells? Uh, I don't know. There's some crazy cool... Um, colors going on. I don't see much of the gold. Oh, there's a little piece right there that we didn't get. Pull that out. Make sure you get those little tips. Like over here. Just touch it. Right here. Okay, whoops, right here, I didn't spill out all the way. It's hot. This one was kind of hard, but look at the way the bottom looks. That looks pretty cool. All right, so there's one job done. Next is the ghost. Okay, here we, here we go with the ghost. Now I need my gray. I, wonder, I think I should do gray, black, and white. That's gray. I'm gonna make more paint this time. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do the same thing because you have to pour it all over the place, and you can't pour it here and expect it to spin all out. So I think I need a bigger. Oh, I forgot. I'm using the wrong thing. Wait a minute. This one. I need. Let's 
so it's going to come out just as nice as uh, a flow trial. I love flow trial the best, I have to say. If you have the extra money and you want to expand and create, you know, cool cells, flow trial and silicone together, I, I think is the best. But we're going to see results this time because I'm going to um, use this. Should I put the black, should I put the cell edge band in the black this time? I think I will. Or maybe I'll do it in the black and the white, actually. I want to see cells. I want you guys to see cells. I'm going to use this. Making more here, more blue and water, just a little bit. They say half and half, but I don't think so. It depends on the blue. If it's cheap blue, you only need a little bit of water. You know, it's different. You know, not all blue is the same. Just like not all jeans are the same. It's different sizes fit differently. It's not all the same. Not all the copy is the same. I don't know. That's a good. So now, all the paints, like some of the paints at the doll store, their brand is really thin out. Like you don't need a lot of uh, anything like to add to it because you can almost paint pour with the paints they have without even putting anything in it. Probably. I don't know. I never tried it before, but their paints are pretty thin. So that one's nice. That's nicey nice. I got the gray. Gray. That's a little thick. A little more. A little more. It took a long time to get that consistency right. That's why I like showing people that how you do it because it took me a long, long time to get cells to like, you know, figure out the consistency, how thick that has to be. I'm just going to pour this right in there. Shaky, shaky. So, how am I doing so far? Are you still hanging in there with me? Or did you cut out? Did I get boring? silicone in the white and the black. I can probably even get some more out of there. Get to the last drop. This one's, these are Craftsman, which is inexpensive, very inexpensive paint. It's the cheapest. It works just, it's not, it's better than the dollar store. Let's just say that. But if you want to go, you know, there's deco art, folk art, then I do, uh, what's my other brand? Artist uh, Loft. Is this Artist Loft? Titanium. No, Artist Acrylic. Artist Loft is good. All right, so where's the silicone? There it is. All right, so I'm going to put a couple of drops, dropper fulls. I just put that right in there whole drop of fill in the white and then in the black. I should put it in the gray too and see what happens, huh? Wanna see? See it go crazy? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I wanna see cells. I tell you that right now. I wanna see some cells. Okay, so I mix this up. That's a nice consistency right there. 
I'm going to make a mess on this side. Uh, you got PB pads. That's awesome because it, it, this makes a mess. I'm going to be honest with you, trying all the mediums. This was the first I did, and it makes a mess. It makes a huge mess. I'm going to be honest with you. It's like horrible to clean up. There's so much. That's why I use the PP pads. You can just throw them away. Use the little cups. You can just throw them away. Um, it's really a mess. So then I used oil paint. Then I tried acrylic and was painting and having fun with that. And that's not too bad. But you know what the best thing is? is watercolors. Like if you want to play with your kids and not make a big mess, watercolors is where it's at. Honest to God, I just love it. Ah, I'm hot. All right, ready? I'm gonna take a cup. I need a big cup. I don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna get a big cup. I didn't have to go in there. I got this. And I'm going to add more gray. Mostly gray. I'm thinking of doing the gray just a little bit thicker. Stick good. Like a pillow paint. They call it a pillow paint. One should be kind of a little thick. I think. Like that flow is good, but it's nice slow flow. Need one slow on it. Alright, so here we go. And I'm gonna just use this cup in there. I'm gonna pour these. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing already. God help me. Alright, here we go. God does help me. God gave me a gift that I didn't even know I had. I had no idea, man. Do you know how some people don't consider this an art? It's like science and art mixed together. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, it's so freaking cool. I just love it. And of course, you're an artist if you paint for. Why wouldn't you be? There's art in everything anyways. Look at how nice that's going to be. I love it. I like seeing it in the thing. I don't know if you can't see it, huh? So I just do a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Now I think I'm going to do this in, even though it doesn't spin me, I think I'm going to do it in the uh, trunk. So I don't want to... I don't know, what should I do? I could do it right here. It's just gonna drip all over everything and then I can throw it out. That'll be alright. That'll be alright. I don't wanna, I think I might have too much paint now. Okay. Here we go. Let's uh, lift this up so we can pour all of it. There we go. Okay. Ready? Uh, I'm going to do this in the trunk because I want to move it all around. So this is going to be a little difficult. We'll see. I'll show you what happens here. Okay. I'm going to do it in here. Because I want to move it all around. Oh. I see cells. There's a lot of black. I didn't want that much black. Oh my god. Look at this in white. So this is where the map look at the cells. Check it out.
Wow, that was cool. That was really cool. Oh my god. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Okay, that's it. Almost. Come on now. Ah, oh, I lost a lot of cells from, it seems like. Okay, there we go. There's some cells. You know. And there's some pretty cool swirls. These cells over here. It's a lot of swirls. And we got everything covered. Which is good. There's some there's not many cells. Let me take a torch to it and see what happens. We need a torch. Let's see. Okay, ready? Is that coming out of the way? Here's some coming out now. We got some cells now. Nice. So here's some tips and tricks from a beginner to a beginner. If you want to try making cells and you want to paint pour, you don't have to do it expensively. Especially if you're first starting out. Now there's cells. Check that out. Fantastic. All right, we'll let that dry. And, uh, oh, I'm so excited. They came out so good. I love it. Awesome. All right, next is the burr. Okay, here we go. So, I'm definitely going to need a bigger cup, so I'm going to make sure I have plenty of paint. Plenty of paint. This is a real pretty blue. Blue, blue is called, it's called bright, bright blue. Bright blue. Now what I'm gonna do? Eh, I'm gonna mix it in here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix this up. Up. Whoa. I need quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I have Bob Seger on my head. See, I didn't need a lot of water at all. It thins it out fast. That glue is pretty uh, thin. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pour quite a bit in here, not too much, but quite a bit because I'm using a lot. Mix this up so I get every last drop in here. Oh, I need my gloves. It's nice to shake it up in the bottle because it shakes really good. Tell it feels thick. This is a uh, apple barrel. That's why. So it's thicker than uh, Craft Smart. You can tell. You can just tell. You once you start doing this, you can feel. You feel it. You just feel it. You feel everything. Once you're an artist, you feel things like you never felt before. You get excited when you never had excitement before. I have so much excitement now. 
a zest for life. Everything is so pretty. Every every sunset and every sky is like more prettier than I ever saw in my life. And I've always loved sunsets and stuff, but it's like, <gasps> oh my God, stop, let me take a picture. It's still pretty thick, so I might need a little more. A little bit. So I know I'm not measuring anything here. Like, I know I'm not. But you can do this. It's just, I go by this. See that? Look, you don't want that. So I go by consistency because of the different kinds of paints. You don't know. Like, this one's wicked thick. So you don't know. You might, I need more of that, um, the medium now. Paint pouring mediums. They're all different. Floetrol is different. They all give similar results. Why is that so thick like that? That is thick. Wow. Feels like that doesn't belong in there. It doesn't. So that's not right. This It must be kind of old paint or something. Now I'm bummed out. Where the heck? I'm going to use it, though, because it seems fine, actually. I'm going to use it. I'm going with it. I don't like to waste paint, so that's fine. A little blob in there. I don't know what the heck what that was. I took it out. Now it's no problem. No, nope. I see some more. Wait a minute now. What the heck is going on here? Ew. Hmm, I broke my stick. Hey, can you guys see that? I really like this color. I don't want to change it. I really think this is going to be all right. All right, see how that's flowing? There's a drip and there's a blob in there. All right, I might end up having a, a blob, but I can... What would you do? Would you use it? I would, because I'm not wasting this paint. I can't waste paint. The little thing there. I can't. I can't waste paint. This too. This, some of this paint's really good. Okay. Now that's good. I like that. So here we go. Now we got the metallic, the pretty metallic color. And these are brand new paints, and this is a uh, deco art. This isn't too thick, I don't think. And I'm gonna pour this in here so I can use it all up. I need to drink that water because I'm getting a headache. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like water, plain. I have to have a flavor in it. I just do. I don't know, I just do. Alright, I'm talking about a lot of stupid stuff here because I'm teaching you stuff. And I really just wanted to say thank you most of all to like all my followers. I'm like overfilled with gratitude. I'm so grateful that I can stay home and make videos and share my art with people. Show you what little bit I know because I do know a little bit. I do. I didn't know anything before, but now I know a little bit. Oh, that just fell over. I do know a little bit. Now that's good. I can tell already. Just by staring, I can tell. It's perfect. See that? It's perfect. You don't want it runny. That's this nice slow. That was a nice slow drip. I kind of like that right there. Because it tends to. You don't. If you have it too thick, it'll crack. So. That's good right there. It's dripping. It's running. It's like running. Running slow. Running slow. This one's real thick. Now, I ordered these from Tamu. And these are very thick paints. Really good paints. Really pretty. Um, all metallic. I'm going to open. All right, so I have room in here. I'm going to pour it right in the cup. Make some more. Okay.
Now, I'm curious. I wonder what the glue does. And the glue, this glue like pan, and why do they say glue and water? That's the first thing I learned was glue and water. Glue and water. Then they said that clear glue creates cells better than glue. I, wonder, I found that it just made a lot of good swirls. You know, it didn't really get me the cells that I wanted. Um, but it does you know, make glue swirls and stuff. There's not a lot of mixing room in here. I can tell. Okay, usually when I make videos, I get cut all that out. I cut it all out, all the shaping, but you're getting all this today. You're getting the shaping. You're getting it all today. I'm not cutting nothing out because it's a tutorial and I want to teach you what I know. Shake it because you can shake it in here so much better than stirring. And it mixes it so much better. So I like doing it right in the container. There's still way more left in here. A little bit more because it's really thick. Same thing I like about this paint. That's going to be so pretty together. I don't know if I should do some white or not. Maybe just a little bit. I got to do white. I got to do the white. I, need, I want cells again. This time I want white cells. Just white ones. That's it. I'm going to do this. Pour this in here. I'm gonna put some silicone in here. Where is it? My silicone. So I don't need much white. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of white after. I'm gonna do it so that the cells, I'm gonna mix the blues. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna save this for the end. Because I don't have a lot. So I'm going to pour it in there myself. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this. I don't want that done. That is done. No, that's not going to work. I got this blue on my bird that I had stuck over there. Oh my god. Good thing nobody's gonna see the back. That's not very professional. It's not for my friend in the shed. So okay. Yeah, we need this. Because we're gonna mix these together now. I'm ready. A little bit of that. Did I mix this? I don't think I even mix this. No, not really. I didn't do it. That's gone. This is rather thin. See, I don't like it that thin. That's runny. But I'm not using a lot of it and I'm mixing it in with so that should be alright. I don't really like it that runny. So that's like you don't really want it like that. So I'm just gonna use a little bit just for the metallicness of it all. The shed, the water has metallic colors and sparkle in it, so this should uh, go with that well. If you stay to the end of the video, you're going to see how they look up, like decorated and displayed, and how it looks on the shed. It's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. So these blues are all similar. It's mostly going to look really, I'll, I'll tell you, you have to see it. It's going to look pretty in the sun. It's really going to look nice in the sun. Okay, ready? Here we go. I think I have plenty of freaking paint. It has to go all over the side, so I have to make sure. All right, ready? I'm making a mess here.
I might need a spoon. I'm gonna get a spoon. Of course, I don't have a plastic spoon. So this is what I do. Don't waste the paint, right? So now, it's nothing on this side at all. Absolutely nothing. I need it on the back there. Now these colors were way too close together. You can't even see, all it looks is like a metallic -y. I mean, that's gonna be pretty. So I'm glad I'm gonna use some white, make some white, that's for sure. Finn, do you have to go out? I'm gonna have to take my dog out. I'm gonna take my dog out. He's sitting by the door, I guess, to go out. I'm gonna have to take a break. Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock at night. Ay, ay, ay. So this is not what I expected from this. The colors are so close together and I have to hit this now on my finger. So I'm gonna fix it. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, this makes a terrible mess. It really does. So I have to get in there. That's all covered. This is going outside. I'm gonna tell if it's pretty, but what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go like this. Now one thing they say about art is it's really good at problem solving. So if you have a mistake, we're over here trying to fix it in our mind, right? That's why it's, uh, you know, that's why they say it's good for problem solving because while we're doing our art, things do come up and things do happen. And look at that, I just fixed my mistake. Friggin' beautiful now. Hello, a little bit more down here, I think. That's beautiful. Kinda wanted Cells, but I'm thinking maybe not because it's just so. We'll see. Hold on when I torch it. Oh, we're getting cells. We're getting some. Yes, there's a lot of paint down there. A lot of people talk about wasted paint. I don't think it's wasting it at all. It's just work. It's work. It's part of work. I'm working it. It happens. So now I'm going to take this torch and I'm going to torch it. Cells are popping, man. Ah! Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, now I'm gonna take my dog out. Hey, look at that. Look at the cells. Look at how beautiful. Now I have to res that. I, I mean, I have to use resin, I think. I don't know. Because that would take a lot of resin for this little tiny thing when I probably could just poly it. What do you think I should do? What do you think? Look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, it looks like an eye. <gasps> Ghetto. It does, doesn't it? It does. 
All right, that's next. Okay, so I have to share a funny story with you. All right, so I love antiques. And when I first started out, I was refurbishing furniture. Now, this is before I became an artist. Like, and it's only been like three years. So, you know, five years more than that, I started flea marketing and flipping furniture, refurbishing it, um, especially antique furniture and stuff. So that was my little side hustle and flip, making some money. But then, now that I'm an artist, antique tables aren't worth what they used to be. Make sure it can, you know, fit on the lap in the car small enough. Because even that, people are like, I, I don't know where to put it. So I still do it, though. And um, paint pouring on furniture. One day, if you want to know, my place is like a gallery. And... All of my furniture and stuff is paintboard in here, and I've done like everything myself. So let me know if you ever want to have a little tour of my gallery over here with all my uh, paintboard, my art, all the art that I do is all over the place. So here, I'm gonna share this little thing. With you. Look at the cells in here. So listen, you know you did a good pour when it dries like this and the cells don't go kaplunk. Um, and there's, it's metallic too. There's some, you know, in the sunlight, it really looks pretty. Yeah, it's metallic right there. I don't know if you can tell. But, um, there's my Esta. Um, so this is an absolutely beautiful piece. Look at how that came out. I took these off. And I, I, uh, there's my name. That's one of the first ones I call that a signature. All my tables are, did you sign it? So you can see things in here. I'm going to give you a, uh, a little hint. Um, there's a skeleton key. What do you see? All right, I see. I'm going to show you something else that's in there. Like, check this out. Can you see the little seal? Look at it. There's his nose. And his little flippers. The seal. What was there? Some other things that people saw. Because um, it's fun game we play at the flea market. What can you see with my artwork? That kind of looks like a dragon. Right there. I don't know. Does anybody see anything? Alright, so here I am. You have to see this, okay? Ready? There it is. Can you see anything? Alright, it's a skeleton. See the eyes? Isn't that freaking cool? With a skeleton key. <laughs> an antique table. What's in here? This is an old, old, old table. Very old. And I refurbished that. I mean... If you follow me, you'll see my uh, before and afters of uh, my fun tables. Uh, and I, I, uh, I don't know what it is, but that turns me on, those colors, the way they make cells. That's, like, exciting. I don't know why. It just really is. All right, so now we're going to do this, um, this uh, brown one that I need to do here. I have to do a redo because I screwed up. Well, it didn't dry right. I mean, things happen, and that's okay. Because I was taught right in the beginning that everything is fixable. So look at this catastrophe. It's a mess. I did it to one tray. I messed it up, and I did it over again. But there was some cells in here that were pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to go with browns here. I got some a light brown. Brown, brown, golden brown and brown. And then I have a little tiny bit of gold left, and this is going to be my cell activator. Um, I well, no, I just want this to be kind of neutral with this kind of um, a tray, this nice wooden tray. I was going to wood burn on it. Um, 
But people seem to love my wood burn trays. I mean, my, um, my paint pour trays. And I usually do ocean. But in the, um, for the harvest, for the moon, I mean, yeah, for the festival, for the harvest moon festival, yes. I was getting ready for it. I wanted to do some, um, you know, harvesty. Um, let's see, here's my blue. And here's the blue and the water. I'm going to have just enough left. I love everything with color. My colored cups, they have to have color. Ow, 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 ow. I need my gloves. Where are they? Oh, something funny I forgot to tell you. So listen. Now with paint pouring, this is what I do. Tell me if any of you artists can relate. And I can't do it the whole time. I'm just going to show you a little bit. While it's drying, like this. And I get paint in my hair. I, I paint my hair. I gotta put it up. So, I'll be looking at it. Making sure it dries right. Like this. Making sure the cells aren't just like moving because if you do it too thin, the cells will go kaplunk. It'll it'll spread out and there won't be cells anymore. You might get results of a different look and not like it anymore and you want to redo it. And you can, but that sucks. Sometimes I'm like, oh, third time's a charm. And it's, it's always the way, but, you know, it happens, and, and everything is fixable in art. Everything is, but I don't know if you can relate to that, like, seriously, all night. And then I would dry it with a dryer. Don't use a dryer. Don't use a heater. Because it will crack. It will dry too fast, and it will make the paint crack. I found that out the hard way. That could have been why there's cracks in this one, too. Um, so tips and tricks, people. For you beginners out there, this is for beginners. I'm still a beginner. I belong to groups, okay, that I still don't even have time, and I wish I, because they're so nice, and that's where you can get your, your tips and tricks. They give out all the recipes to the bloom. I mean, they're so nice. Oh, my God. They're just so nice. And then you follow follow them because they have YouTube channels. Um, I can't find my gloves. There they are. Oh, my God. And this paint dries pretty fast. Look at it. These are, um, I wipe them on a towel. I'm okay. And then, um, okay. So. Use. I'm going to need quite a bit here, so I'll need one of those big cups again. Use quite a bit. Oh, wait. Another one. One of these. So I don't have much glue left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour it right in the bottle of the water. I don't want to use too much. I have Mod Podge if I need it. I'm not even like. Alright, you guys, sorry. Sorry. Can you okay, see? Okay. Here we go. Different angle. Let's see if this photo is good. That's pretty good. I like it. It's got a nice flow. It's still thick. You can tell it's still thick, but it's it's not running out fast. It's coming out pretty slow. Not well, slow, slow, but that's a good flow right there. That's what we want. That's what we want. Because we don't want it to be too thin. Too thin makes kaplunk. And this right here, if it's too thick, it will crack. 
So it has to be just right. That's why there's such a science to this, and you kind of have to be a scientist and think like a scientist. And look at this I just bought. And look at that. There's something that the block in it. Look at this. <sighs> That's Craft Smart, and I just bought it. Why does that even happen? Is there a date on here? Is that old? Huh. I really should know how to shake it, but... That's weird. You know what? That happens sometimes in the flow trawl. Like, flow trawl, you have to strain it. Um, it's my suggestion for that. You strain it. I strain it. Um, I think these should be nice and holiday-ish. I don't have a lot of gold, but I seen a little trick. My last one with the blue bird and putting the white on at the end was kind of cool. It worked out perfect. This looks like it's going to be okay. So I've seen that happen if I put flow trawl in it. Um, yeah, look at that. That's no good. But like I said, once again, I'm not wasting this paint. I am not. I should take it back and return it. I'm going to. It's just a brand new bottle. I did my rocks with it outside at the um, mural. So that's what I used the brown for. Seems like it's gonna be okay. We want to cook out. Okay, well, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm using my indoor voice because it's late. I just took my dog out. Look at you. Gotta see Finn. Okay, I gotta show you Finn. Brown, good brown, more brown. So we're gonna use a lot. I wonder if I should, I'm going to use white too, you know that? I really am. Because that's a, well, uh, no. I'm just going to use brown and gold. I think this should be enough. This time I'm going to do it differently though. This time I'm going to show you. Pour it in the middle and this time instead of the last, do it different this time. Get a different result. It all comes, it never comes out the same no matter what you do. That's what's so cool about it. You can't even try to copy me. They're like, we're going to copy you. Let them try. My art's so different. Everyone's different. We all have a gift. And we're supposed to work together. Like, and share our gifts together and uh, feed off of each other and come up with good ideas and put our heads together and create together. That's what we were meant for. You're created to create is what Think Media said. Part of my story is like, I wanted to do this and share that it's a God-given gift and have people not be offended because how do I say it? And it's like just the truth. Wait a minute. I kind of liked how quick that was. Let's see. Uh, a little too thick. You see how... Let me show you this. Do you see how... Uh, good, I'm showing you the light. Look at... See how that's like a thick... A thick flow. See, it's really thick. So I'm going to just put a little tiny bit more in there. I was giving a gift. So all of a sudden, I watched Think Media, Sean Cannell... Rhymes, 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 rhymes with channel. I uh, heard him talk about, you know, creating content and inspiring others and sharing your gift and, you know, backing it up with scripture even. I'm like, oh my God, if he can say that, he can do that. You can do that on YouTube. You can say what you want. You can share your, your um, spiritual side. Get out. I had no idea. And so it gave me permission to do this. And now I'm up to uh, $4.98. It was $4.99. And it went down to $4.98. Someone, I've had a couple of people unsubscribe. 
And it's not even going to hurt my feelings because maybe it is because I talk about God. And your vibe is your tribe. And, um, should I make white? Should I just put a little bit of white in? Hmm. If, uh, I feel like we need white. I really do. I just feel like we need white. I'm going to pour this right in there. Uh, so I'm very new at this. So you have to put in the comments things that I could do to better, to ask me questions so that I can, um, if I'm not getting your comments right away, I'm sorry. I have a following on Facebook. I have a following on TikTok because CapCut, you like upload to TikTok. So I share all my stuff with TikTok. TikTok was my test too. I was like, okay, if I'm a good artist, then I'll go to YouTube. This will tell me how I am. And I got like 3,000 followers in a matter of three months. So that told me, okay. People told me I'm good at something. I never even heard that before. I never was good at anything. Um, honestly, I was never good at anything. And uh, I couldn't make good decisions. I didn't trust myself. I didn't know what I was going to do next. Um, you know, so coming up soon, next 2025, I don't know exactly. I don't, I only have one day at a time, but I got sober. And I have like almost, next year, I think I'll have 15 years. I tried to figure it out. But I only have to keep it in the day because I complicate things with the bad and, um, so I, I had to clean up though for a good five years to just even start going to school. I went to Bible college. I had to really clear up like before I could tap into this art thing. And I didn't know that at the time because I just only never, I never did art before. Although people like you're an artist, you were cutting hair. But I wasn't painting, I didn't, and I did um, exterior, interior paint, I was a painter, I did painting, but not painting, not like artist painting, painting paintings. If you want to see uh, my house and some of my artwork, I'll do that next video just so you can see how I've evolved in only in three years. Okay, so this is what we're going to do this time. Okay, so watch this. This is cool. It's going to be so cool. I'm excited. All right, ready? So I'm going to do the dark first. And then I'm going to do this one. spread out. I got an itch on my nose, my hair. Alright, I'm gonna put my hair up. I'm gonna this time. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair up. Okay. First, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do this. Cut. Cut. Okay, I'm back. My hair's up and I'm gonna show you why. Oh, I hope I have enough, let me tell you. So, I'm going like this. I'm looking at heat, it's getting paint all in my, I, uh, in my cubicles and stuff. I have to like sell jewelry and uh, someone's like, you better wash your hands and clean your nails. So I have to wear gloves. Because I forget. I get so excited. Like earlier, I walk the dog, I come back, and I'm getting ready for the clean up. And I couldn't even take my coat off because I just can't wait. I get so excited. And then that's how I get paint all over my stuff. But I don't even care anymore. <laughs> 
because I just love pink that much. It stopped me from being so obsessive compulsive. I used to like let stuff go now. It's weird. All right, ready to do the bra. Did I put a uh, silicone in here? I forget. Okay. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow it. Please, all right, now I'm gonna tilt it. It's rolling around nicely. Pushing it in up here. I need some more weight over on this side. Oh, oh, oh. I want my leather strap. This is a natural wood dots de natural made in India. So I'm getting rid of all the oh. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, too much. That's good. Done. Okay. Come on this way. So I hope that's nice right there, right? Okay. There we go. That's it. I'm done. I'm leaving it. That's great right there. Right. Where's my torch? Where's the torch? Uh, where is it? I got it. Okay. Can you see that? It looks like it's gonna be good. Now this was a gift, it has an imperfection in it. So, it was a gift. So then I don't have to pay, charge a lot of money for my stuff. Um, Cause a lot of my stuff is donated. I'm very lucky. When people believe in you and they like your stuff, they, I get tables all the time. They want to see my before and afters. They watch me on, on, uh, you know, my social media. I think this should go all around like more. That way. Maybe this should go this way. That should happen. Oh. Oh. Right in my face. Be careful. People said they want me to teach them. So here I am. 
teasing him. How am I doing? You can do this. If I can do it, you can too. And I think I'm going to leave it there. What? Wait a minute. I keep messing with it. I can't help it. There we go. I don't know if you saw that, but I needed... It needed it. Okay. Now, now I'll show you the whole thing. Can you see that? Did you see what I did? I think that was too far away. I'll try to zoom in for you when I'm making this. That's why I have to edit, because I do have to try to zoom in for you. See, you can use economically and still have nice results. You really can. And if you want to play with your kids, go to the dollar store. You can put down PP pee -pee pads. They sell four of them for a dollar. Um that you put down and just throw everything away, a quick clean up. So everything I get is at the dollar store, my little cups, you know. Um, just, we have to save money any way we can because it is expensive and, and you need a lot of things when you're an artist, you need a lot of things. Um, whether it's cleaning supplies or So I was blowing over there because it was just a line. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a... I like over here. This looks really cool. There we go. Some cells there. Some right there. Looks pretty. And, and the sides are all fixed. That's what I like. You know, the sides look better now. There's not too much cells, but there is some. It's very cool design, I think. Very cool. Um, I like fixing things, man. I do. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to clean that up. But I think that's going to be nice. It'll be nice for the holidays for somebody. So here's my stuff. We got to look at look, it. See, it warped a little bit, but that's okay because he's a flowy guy anyway. It's all right. It's all right. But check it out. So a little bit dripped down there only because it flowed. But we still have cells. That's fantastic. So the flow is good. The flow is good. Oh my God, I just love it. I love how he's lighter up here. I like that. Little hands. Look at that. I think it came out so freaking cool, man. And here's our guy over here. You know what, I didn't torch him. That's why there's no cells either. Because usually you torch it. Um, oh, no, there actually is some, isn't there? This one came out really good, too. It's probably almost dry because this one was pretty thin. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's look. Can we see? It's hard to tell. We'll have to wait. Oh, did I miss a spot? I did. Oh, it's okay. That's all right. You can't really tell. Look at how cool that came out. Oh, I can't wait till they're dry. That's my TV talking to me right now. I have Jelly Roll on hold. He's on a, uh, he's in there. It's awesome interview, man. I love that guy. I love Think Media. I follow them. They're teaching me about being a YouTuber, making content creation that is going to be of value to people. I hope I helped you out in some way. 
inspired you to start painting maybe because this is fun it's easy if i can do this you can do this and i'm at home in my little studio this is my little studio all the everything has this place i did a mural on the wall i painted that and so this is my little studio that was a gift, my Bob Ross. I am one big happy accident. Because <laughs> um, I didn't know I could do this. It was actually because I became, I'm disabled. Like, I have a lot of pain issues. And so I have to work from home. I don't have a choice. I can't even work like some, if I had to get a job, I'd be fired. Especially all I do what I want. I kind of like that. You know, I get to do what I want and do what I love. And... That's why the business name is Love What I Do. So follow me for more, and I hope um, you enjoy this little um, paint pouring excursion because inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, is that it? I made that up a long time ago. No, it's not inquire. I got it from inquiring. It's inspiring. Inspiring minds want to know. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm out. Peace out. Watch out for the for the uh, finished results.